Now everybody, it's Dan from Homesy.com. I am uh, whew, out of breath. I'm getting fit though, you've got to admit I can now talk better and uh, keep my breath so I'm not doing too bad. Right, this is part two of this week's Talking Bollocks on the Bike. Uh, again with the zombie apocalypse questions, people seem to really like these ones for some reason. I mean I am a big fan of The Walking Dead and that so... This one's from Caleb Martin. On the Facebook page he asked, um, what would the plan be in a zombie apocalypse? And I said, oh, I've already answered this one. He said, no, he just said, what would you do? Well, truth is, I would hold myself up in here, get swole as fuck, and then when zombies start turning up, I'd start smashing people's heads in with barbells and plates. And that's about it, really. I've got loads of supplements in here to keep me going, so I'll be all right. I will ask and come to. Anyway, next one. This one's quite lucky actually because he's, he's just asked this one. Quite a lot of questions here, so I'll go through them. This is from Harun Awan. I think I've said that right, buddy. Um, for your next TBOTB. Number one, the last of your milk doesn't fill up your bowl of cereal and there is no milk left on earth. Do you add water? Yes, I've done that before and at one point, when I was really trying to watch my calorie intake, I was just using water on cereal. It's absolutely vile, but it, it keeps it from being dry, you know what I mean? And if you do use a little bit of milk and add water, it's like having skimmed milk, so there you go. Um, question two, Jessica Alba is in an elevator and says to you, I'll do one thing, anything, right here, right now. What do you ask for? Well. Being that I have a lovely girlfriend, and I'm a very nice chap, I would just say, fill us a check out for a couple of mil, please. Cheers, love. See you later. Uh, number three. You are the president. What one policy do you change? Just one. Now, this is going to be controversial, and a lot of people probably won't like this, but I would abolish all religion across the world. Uh, mainly because I think it is the root of a lot of bad things that happen in the world and I'm not just saying things like what, whatever one religion is the cause of it they all are in my opinion that is only my belief that is my own opinion I'm not saying that people shouldn't have a religion and believe in something but when I think that people's moral and ethic decisions are dictated by things that don't, don't even exist and people go to war and fight and sit over stuff like that well, I just think, what a waste, do you know what I mean? But anyway, like I say, I'm not going to get too deep into that one because it's going to be a touchy subject, but that is what I would do. I think the world would be a much better place if everybody just worked together, regardless of creed, colour, because I think religion splits a lot of people up other than that one. Only the extremists, obviously. A lot of people that follow a religion passively are usually all right. The extremists are the problems, but anyway, whatever. Uh, what's the worst thing you've done when drunk? Well, I don't really want to say the worst thing I've done because it's quite nasty and I feel very bad for doing it, but um, I've been arrested before for being drunk and getting into a little bit of a fight. Uh, it wasn't much, to be honest. It all happened so quickly, but that could have turned out pretty nasty in a sense that I could have ended up with bad stuff, but... Like I say, I'm not going to say what the worst thing is because it's not too good. But anyway, that's that one. What's your earliest memory? Um, I do have some pretty... There's one memory that I always have from when I was a kid and um, we went up to... Um, I think it was Whitby. Or it might have been, might have been down in Cornwall. And I... Um, there's a lot of things I remember. I remember being in a boat. I was only a young kid, like a little rowing boat, and you go out to visit this castle, and um, basically when the tide comes, you, you can walk out to this castle, but when the tide comes in, you've got to get a boat back. And I remember being in this little rowing boat as a kid, and uh, it's just really freaky, because it's one of the memories that you think, did I dream that, or did it happen? But I'm pretty certain it did happen, so that's probably my earliest memory. I was only really young, so that's as much, I mean, there's others, but that is one that really does stick out in my head. Uh, who was your favourite teacher at school? 
Uh, my favourite teacher at school was a guy called um, Mr. Forp, or Joel Forp. Uh, I went to David Lister School. It was pretty, the class was a rough school. I mean, I did all right, so. But he was a spot on teacher. He was really down to earth. He was on your level, do you know what I mean? He, he could, you could speak to him about anything. He was just spot on guy. I think he's recently retired from teaching, but he is a really, really, really good guy. Good teacher. The best teachers are the ones that can relate to the kids and get on with them. Strict teachers that give you shit and make you feel like shit, they're fucking useless. Um, <sighs> will your future kids even lift, bro? Yes, they will. You know, as much as uh, the other half doesn't agree with this, as soon as they come out of that womb, they're going to be greeted with a pair of dumbbells and a barbell. And if they can't even bench the bar for one, they're going back up until they can. Not serious. But yeah, I will be definitely encouraging them to uh, to be into lifting or just general fitness or any type of sporting activity, mainly because uh, with the way that kids are very obese these days, purely down to laziness um, and bad diet, I don't want mine to turn out like that. I mean, when I was a kid, I was forever playing out, swinging off trees, making dens, doing what have you. So I was always active. Whereas these days, most kids just spend time playing on Xboxes, PS3s, all that stuff. So really, I want to encourage my kids to be active, so there you go. Um, most embarrassing thing you've witnessed someone else do? I'm going to have to think about this one, so I might have to like do a little bit of a jump cut here. Hmm. I don't, do you know, I don't really, I can't really think of something that's embarrassing because I don't really get embarrassing. Uh, well, I don't really get embarrassed in certain situations or, or if somebody else is doing something, I don't get embarrassed. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, I don't know. It's a hard one to say. I mean, there was one time at band camp, um, me and my old man had been out for a few beers and we was pissed up like, and he come back to man. And, uh, <laughs> I suppose this is pretty bad in a way. Um, back in the day before I got with our lass, she used to live across the road from me. We both lived in rented accommodation. Uh, we knew each other from school, so it was quite weird, well, college, so it was quite weird how we ended up living opposite each other. Anyway, I had, um, I used to have an R6 motorbike, and I had it outside, and we had it, we had it up, and we had it ticking over and that, and just giving it a bit of a rev, and my dad was uh, getting into it, and um, I said, we got onto the subject of summer, and he started talking about piles, because I was talking about how the seat is so hard on the bike, and I said, God, don't have hair, don't have to give me some piles. And I'm not kidding you. I mean, we were both pissed up here. My dad, bless him. I turned around, and there he is. His pants round his ankles, bent over, exposing his arsehole to the wild. And he just shouted, These are fucking pals. And I was like... So, anyway, we were both pissed up. And I was just crying with laughter. But the thing is, is that it was in full view of the missus's house. And... I just thought, oh God. Well, you've seen it all now, love, do you know what I mean? But anyway, I suppose that is the most embarrassing thing that I've seen somebody else do. But there you go. I hope that answers all these questions and I thank you very much for um, for giving me them. Like I say, it helps me get through my cardio. I've done 25 minutes now. Yeah. On top of the stuff I did this morning. Uh, so I'm feeling much better. And I thank you all very much. If you've got any other questions you want to ask me, some off topic ones like that would be greatly appreciated and um, I'll answer them next time so yeah thank you very much oh.